Till then, how you all are? I hope you all are fine. So today, I am going to teach you atoms and molecules. It is chapter three of NCERT. Now, atom, you know, is the smallest particle of a matter. Is the smallest particle of a matter. Means all the matters are made up of atoms. Okay, now okay, this Anthony D. L. Lavoisier, okay, uh, has laid the foundation of chemical science by establishing two important laws of chemical combination. Two important laws of chemical combination. One is the law of conservation of mass. One is the law of conservation of mass. So, law of conservation of mass. It states that matter can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. Yes, whenever a chemical reaction occurs, the matters, the atoms. takes part in that chemical reaction and the mass of the reactant is same as the mass of the product. So this was, so this is law of conservation of mass, this, this is law of conservation of mass. Okay, in activity 3.1, you can just see here now in activity 3.1, if you do have the book, I am just showing it here now. This, this is activity 3.1, this is, this is 3.1, I am explaining this activity to you, this one. So, look here, in this activity, okay, X and Y solutions are taken. X is taken in a test tube and Y is taken in a, in a, in a, in a flask, in a flat flask it is taken. Okay, these two solutions are different. Their masses are, okay, this whole apparatus along with these solutions are weight. Okay, after that, uh, after that, this, uh, this conical flask containing these solutions Okay, are okay are are mixed up now. <coughs> okay, it is uh, when the conical flask is uh, is uh, okay will means. Uh, the two solutions X and Y mix up together. Okay, then again the whole setup is weight, and we find that the weight in the beginning is same as the weight in the end. It is after mixing the solution. These two solutions okay react each other and make products. So after a reaction, the weight is same as it was before. Okay, so therefore, the law of conservation of mass states that mass can neither be created nor can be destroyed in a chemical reaction. The second is the law of constant proportion. This states that in a chemical substance, the elements are always present in definite proportion by mass. The elements are always present in definite proportion by mass. What does it mean here now? It means that suppose if you collect water from anywhere, anywhere, you can collect it from rain, collect it from plant, okay, from whale, from anywhere collect now. So the ratio, mass ratio of hydrogen and oxygen is always 1 is to 8, mass ratio. It is always 1 is to 8. You know, mass of, because the formula of water is H2O. 
so formula of water is H2O so mass of hydrogen is 2 and oxygen is 16 so hydrogen ratio oxygen will be 2 is to 16 so you go 1 is to 8 so the mass ratio of just you can see I have written here now mass ratio of hydrogen and oxygen in water collected from anywhere is same 1 ratio 8 it's okay it is always same it is it's not different so whenever okay uh, whatever the chemical and whatever the source of the chemical the elements are present in the same ratio in the compound okay so this is the law of constant proportion okay now then okay the next problem scientists faced by uh, by scientists the next problem faced by scientists was to give appropriate explanation of these laws it is you know and the appropriate explanation of these law was given by John Dalton John Dalton and uh, uh, this is known as Dalton's atomic theory okay Dalton's atomic theory he was a uh, teacher okay in England and in 1766 okay um, at the age of 12 okay he, he he had begun he had begun his career and he was a man he was the first uh, scientist to explain the atomic theory and that's known as Dalton's atomic theory so he said that all matter is made up of very tiny particles called atoms all matters whatever the matter is there all matter is made up of tiny okay particles called atoms atoms are indivisible particles yes it means he said that atoms cannot be divided which cannot be created or destroyed in a chemical reaction it is okay indivisible means you cannot divide an atom means atom was at that time was the smallest particle according to him but later on okay atom okay can be divided so this postulate of dr this of dalton was failed third is that atoms of given elements are identical of mass and chemical properties means suppose if you take hydrogen gas so all the atoms of hydrogen gas from anywhere collected hydrogen is same okay they are identical in mass and chemical properties but this was also disproved when isotopes was discovered then the fourth one atoms of different elements have different masses and chemical properties yes this is two atoms of different elements like gold copper iron silver aluminium etc so these elements have uh, the atoms of these elements have different masses and chemical properties fifth one atoms combined in the ratio of a small whole number to form compounds okay in the ratio whole number in the to form the compounds okay for uh, for example just now i show you that high water the combination of uh, hydrogen and oxygen in water is 1 is to 8 it is the ratio so two hydrogen combines with one oxygen to give one molecule of water okay and the last one the relative number of all kinds of atoms are constant in a given compound so in a given compound the atoms relative number of atoms and kinds of atoms are constant in a given compound so okay so this is about okay atom and uh, and this law of conservation of uh, mass and the law of conservation of and and the constant properties